What is up, everybody? It is good to get back in the studio today. Today, we are going to take a look at a really specific use case that's come up recently. It's just, you know, do the GGD drum libraries inside of Contact, do these work really well on the Apple M1 Mac Mini? And um, yeah, they, you know, just to spoiler alert, yes, they do. They work fantastic. And so I'm just going to show you some examples today. We're going to look at some of their libraries. Here is the modern and massive library. So, yeah, that one works really, really well. Let's check out the next one. The One Kit Wonder Aggressive Rock Kit. This is the breathing room preset with the Master EQ and Parallel engaged. That sounds freaking fantastic. Just fan freaking tastic. I love the way that one sounds. Now let's check out the One Kit Wonder Classic Rock Kit. This is the solid bonzo groove. See if you can guess what the groove is. Now let's check out the One Kit Wonder Modern Fusion. Now let's check out the P4 library, just one of my absolute favorites. That's the majority of my libraries right there. They're working really, really well. Um, I just have no complaints. And I was able to film this video really, really quickly because I have all of these Pro Tools templates set up with all of these kits just ready to go and ready to record onto multi-tracks, um, which uh, is awesome. That normally takes a lot of legwork to set up all of that, all that naming convention and all that sort of stuff. So just have it ready to go. Um, and that's what I would recommend you do, whatever doll you're working in. If you commonly use this as a starting point, any sort of starting point you can think of, really. Just get those things set up in Pro Tools as a template um, because it's just going to save you time in the future when you get ready to jump into the studio and you have an idea and you want to execute on it. Just have it ready to go. You know what I mean? If you think you're going to need to start from this point in the future. 
And maybe you're curious about how Contact is working for different use cases on the Apple M1 Mac Mini. If so, click on the screen and I'll see you in the next video.